Hello friends. Today we're doing a box lunch money haul. Wow. All right. Let's go. Okay, so background's different. Lighting could be 10 times better. Don't worry. I'm I'm going to work on it. I'm going to figure it out. But this is like this is my Disney collection shelf. Obviously, that's not all of it. Like I have a Funko collection literally and a Disney princess tree like right by, <laughs> right behind my phone, but you know, I this is this is the place we're filming at. So I made it a little Christmassy on the shelf that you could see the best. And um yeah, it's a thing. So let me know if you like it. I'm pretty proud of it. If you don't like it, don't tell me because it'll make me sad. I'm just kidding. Don't lie to me. It's fine. But anyways, I got some lounge flies and some pins. Actually, a lot of pins <laughs> from my box lunch money haul. So well, let's get into it. First, I'm going to start with the lounge flies because we all know that's what you guys are here for. <laughs> so the first one I got is the Soul Lounge Fly. It's very cute. I don't know character names yet because the movie doesn't come out until Christmas Day, but I'm very excited to see it. Ever since I saw the trailer for it, I've been hyped. This one has a really good size um, front pocket, which is nice. Um, it does have the side pockets and it's got like all the stuff even on the back, which is really cute, like all the little constellations and things. Um, it has gold hardware and it does have a back zipper pocket. It might be hard to see because the inner lining is dark blue. But it's a really cute bag and I'm kind of excited that we're already getting merch. I know technically, I think we're probably already getting merch because it was scheduled to roll out like back in June when, you know, the movie was released. Um, in my Funko unboxing, you're going to see a little Funko Pop because <laughs> I'm just, I'm really, I'm really excited for this movie. If I don't like it, it's going to be really awkward, but I don't foresee not liking it. I think it's going to be really cute. But yes, we have this one. So the next one is a crossbody bag. I initially wasn't sure if I was going to get this one. And then I saw Danielle do a video on all the Disneyland 65th bags. And I thought it was so cute. So I went ahead and got it with my box lunch money. Um, this is the Disneyland 65th anniversary crossbody. And this one just, I really, what drew me to it was it really just reminded me of something you would get from Disneyland. Like, not just like lounge flies, but just, you know, things that like classic Disneyland merchandise. Like, I don't know, I, you probably get it if you've been there before. Um, like the inner lining, it's super cute. It does have a zipper pocket in there with a pouch. Um, and I just love the details on it. Like, let me just get it closed again. I just love the little details on it. Like how we have the, we have Tinkerbell over the castle with the fireworks, just kind of like the show. Um, and then how it says the happiest place on earth and you have these guys on the back like it's just a really really gorgeous bag and it's you know it's a pretty good size like so i'll definitely get some use out of this one i really love wearing miss no white one it makes me feel like glassier whatever so then so the next bag i've been really excited about and it is tiana she's so gorgeous i love these like work style bags I just think they're so cute the colors are great I love that we have Prince Naveen as a frog on it the back is really cute it has Tiana as a frog I love it and the plaque is this really beautiful green sorry about my tripod there it does not have side pockets though which is not it's kind of abnormal for one of these kinds of bags it has a gold hardware and it's got this beautiful little lily pad for a charm. The inner lining is super cute. It's the most frogs. It does have a zipper back pocket, which is really nice. Next, I did get a Funko Pop. Normally, I would do Funko unboxings in my Funko unboxing videos. But since we are doing a box lunch haul or a box lunch money haul specifically, I wanted to show everything that I was able to get with my box lunch money. Um... And I did say, like, I'd have to look at the order, but if I'm correct, I think I, like, knocked 150 off of it. Um, I also got a bag, which maybe I should have waited for it to come in, but um, I got a bag that I had, like, $40 in box lunch rewards, and then I had some box lunch money, and I ended up only paying $6 for a bag, guys. It was, it was pretty cool. Hey, Pepita, it is so cool. I love it. 
it glows in the dark. And these are the other Cocoa Funko Pops you can get. I don't have any Cocoa except for Pepita. But I would really love to get, I actually would, I wouldn't like mind having Miguel. Um, and I definitely want Dante, his dog. It's Dante, right? I could be wrong, but I would love to have Dante. I'm like a super big fan of like the Disney animals. But it's just me. It's kind of like a bobblehead, but not really. I don't know if it's just because he's really top heavy. He does glow in the dark. So like all these little like lighter green spots glow in the dark, I think. Maybe the eyes, I could be wrong. But all these like light spots glow in the dark. I would totally show you if I had a black light. I really need to get one because I buy a lot of glow in the dark pops. But he's very, very cool. He's gonna go on the shelf somewhere. Clearly there's not a lot of room. Normally I have some more stuff right here, but I made it Christmassy, so I had to like move things around. <laughs> but all my princesses and stuff were up there. I wish you could see them, but it is what it is. Next is pins. Actually, I got a set of um, like a set of hoop earrings. I'm actually wearing one of the pairs right now. If you can see it, they're all Mickey heads. I don't know where the match the smallest one is. It's somewhere on my vanity, I for sure. But there's also these really big ones. I like this medium size, but I really like hoop earrings and I love the element of it being Mickey. So I got those with my box lunch money too. Lastly is pins. I got a bunch of pins. I got a lot of Disney princess pins, basically. There are two that aren't Disney princess though. Um, so the first two that aren't Disney princess pins is marble. And I absolutely love this pin because I think it man is underrated and he's writing Anthony, which rest in peace, Anthony gone too soon. Like when he, did, sorry, spoilers alert. When Anthony, like when Anthony gets killed, it makes me so sad. And he's, he's literally just an ant, but it makes me so sad. Cause like they was tight, you know, um, we love Anthony. So I had to get this one because it's Anthony. This one that's not Disney is a Pixar pin. And it's this pin of Crush and Nemo. I actually saw Finding Nemo in the theaters like three times when it came out. My grandma took me all three times because I loved it so much. I can't remember how old I was, but I know I was definitely not even, like I was still like early elementary school for sure. Um, I think it slides. No, it doesn't, but I love it. I had to have this one. Next one is a Snow White pin and it's, I think it's the, yeah, it's the Dwarves Cottage. And if you can see it, it kind of shifts between Snow White and a non-Snow White. It's really cute. Um, this is Cricky in his little Lucky Cricket cage. Are you gonna eat out here? You're so annoying. Give me a second. <laughs> Dude, I was. I pay for. Do you clean it? I said pay for. Do you clean it? I basically paid you to do it. I can't stand you. Last thing is this um, Cinderella castle. And it shifts and you can see Cinderella up here in it. But yeah, that's all my box lunch money stuff. Um, if you like the video, please give me a like. Um, comment below what your favorite thing was in the haul. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my little community here. And remember to keep moving forward. Bye. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah.